someone requested that I continue my learn JavaScript tutorial, so I decided to continue on where we left off, off last time. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about switch statements and how to use them in your games. So, first thing we're going to do is go let's see here, create a function, and we'll just call this switch statement. And when you're creating a switch statement, all you have to do is call it switch, and then we plug our variable into here. So pretty much I'll explain switch statements real quick. Instead of when you generate a bunch of numbers like maybe a random integer or something, you wouldn't want to use if, else if, and else statements to check each one of those. So if you're rolling a random between 1 and 20, you wouldn't want to go if this variable equals equals uh, 1 equals equals 2 equals equals 3. It would just be a lot of code and it would look really messy and it wouldn't be as efficient as using a switch statement because for a switch statement when it goes through once it reaches that number it'll break off and it won't call the other code in the case or the switch statement. Um, so what we can do is we can just create a variable we'll just call it switch variable And in here we can create our cases. So case one. And then we can put our code in here. Debug.log. And we and then we want to break. So pretty much what this does so far is if we made this variable, I'm just going to go create it real quick. Oh, I already set that up earlier. Okay, so what we can do is we can do switch variable, and if we wanted this to be a random, we could do random dot range, and maybe we want it to be through. So what this will do is at the start of our game, create a random that's between 1 and 3, and then we can call the switch switch statement. So it'll generate a random number called the switch statement, and then it'll go through the switch and find out which random we called. So if we want to create more cases for this, we can just copy that code. So pretty much, yeah, what this code does at the start, it'll create a random variable, or a random number for switch variable, and then once we call this function, it'll check switch variable and find out which number it was. If it was 1, 2, or 3, depending on which one. And depending on which one, it'll just call whichever code the number was, and it'll break off from there. So we're not using a million if statements or if else statements, it'll just be something simple and it'll only call the code that it needs to call and break off from there. So this is really nice if you're creating maybe an enemy and you want that enemy to do a random attack or if you want your player to do a random attack and you don't want to use all those those statements, you can just use something like this. And so it could be you press the one key and it activates switch statement and depending on which case it is uh, the enemy could fire a random attack or the enemy could fire a random attack so you could use this for AI as well if you're wanting a lot of randomness in your games or any type of random number that you want to generate and you don't want to call all those numbers with a million statements you can just use a simple switch it's easy to set up it's easy to check for the different variables and it optimizes your game a lot more it'll run a lot smoother this way because the update function isn't checking um, a million times a second to uh, check and see if that code is working when it doesn't actually need to be called so code that doesn't need to be called all the time 
it only needs to be called once in a while. Um, put all your code in separate functions just so it's not checking for that all the time, depending on what mechanics for your game. But this is a simple way to set up a switch statement and what they're used for. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I'll continue making a few more Learn JavaScript tutorials for the future, but I'm still going to be working a lot on the Unity tutorials, so when I find time to do these, I'll be creating a lot more.